Hello guys, and welcome to part 6 of the Make a Multiplayer VR game series. In the last episode we show you how to synchronize your avatar's name with Normcore across all clients with an RPC-like event message. At the end of this video we will pretty much finish this Normcore series and you know all the things necessary to start making your own multiplayer VR game from the basic setup all the way up to how to synchronize your avatar. In this video we are going to show you how to mute and unmute your own avatar we are going to use the RPC-like event message like in our last video. So if you haven't watched the last video, make sure to check it out first. Before we start, I'd like to give a huge thank you to our Patreons this month. Thank you very much to Will and Sean Driscoll. You guys make these videos possible. And now, let's jump right into Unity. Alright guys, just like in the other videos, let's go to scripts. And we're gonna add a new folder. We call it mute. And in this mute folder, we're going to add our new script for this video. And as always, we're going to start out with our model. So let's type mute sync model. As always, let's remove these methods. And we're going to add this script to our new namespace. Now, as you already know, we are not going to inherit from mono behavior. So we're going to delete this. And our model is going to be a public partial class. We're going to add real time model attribute at the top. And then the real time property that we need, basically just the bool. So let's give it an ID. We want to make it reliable and we want to add change event. Then let's call our bool mute. And don't forget the naming convention that you put an underscore in front. And that's it. Let's go back and compile our model. All right, now that our model is compiled, Let's add our mute sync class. Alright guys. Let's add this script also to our namespace. And now we basically have the same setup as in all our other sync classes. As you know, the first time we have to do is we inherit from our model that we just created. And we're gonna add mute sync model. And then here, a special thing we need for the muting is the real-time avatar voice component, which is already on our avatar. Next, we want to add a renderer, which is going to show all the other clients if we are muted or not. We're going to display a mute and unmute icon on top of our head. For that, let's also add a serialized field. It's going to be Sprite Renderer and we're going to call it Voice Chat Renderer. Then we need at least two sprites, so one mute and one unmute. For that we're going to add a sprite list. And we need a bool so we know if we are muted or not. The first thing you want to do in the awake method is to get our real-time avatar voice component. Let's add this awake method. And since we only need one thing, we can write it in one line. And that's it. Now, like in any other sync class that we did before, we're going to call the on realtime model replaced method. This method, as mentioned previously, is here to replace old models and subscribe to new models. The only things we're going to change here are the new method names. We're going to add mute did change instead of, for example, color did change. And update mute instead of update color, for example. Let's add these methods. Let's move this one down. 
let me zoom out a little bit. Now, just like before, all we do here in mute did change is called the update mute method. In our update mute method, we're going to set the mute pool according to the mute pool on the model. And then according to if the pool is true or false, we're going to mute or unmute our avatar and set the sprite in our renderer accordingly. Let's do that. We're going to set mute to the mute of the model. And then if the model is muted, we want to call our real-time avatar voice and set it to mute. So let's just type here true. Then on our renderer, we want to set the sprite to the first sprite in our list. And of course, if the bull is false, we're going to set the opposite. So we're going to unmute ourselves and set the second sprite in our list. So now we can update our model. But how can we set our bool? Well, we need one last method. Let's make it public so we can call it from any button we want. And we're going to call it toggle voice chat. In this toggle voice chat, we just toggle our bool. Let's just type mute is equal the opposite of what it is at the moment. So if mute is true and we call toggle, it should be turning to false. And if it's false already and we call toggle, it should go to true. And then we set the mute of the model to our mute. One last thing is missing here. If you use the method like this, you will see that both players get muted. So we have to do a quick check if our real-time mute is owned locally. If owned locally means, are we the owner of this component? If so, just change it for us, but not everybody else. So we're just going to check here. If real-time view is owned locally self. If this is not the case, we will just return out of this method. We don't need these brackets down here. And that's it. As you know from the last time, we need something now that communicates between our local player and our avatar. So let's open our update avatar script from last time. First things first, later we want to mute ourselves with a button. Let's add a serialized field, call it button and mute button. Then what we forgot last time is if we subscribe to an event, we should also unsubscribe. So let's just call this on disable method and unsubscribe from this avatar created event since we forgot that last time. Now, here we have to add a listener to the button. So whenever our avatar is created, we make a reference to our button. And we're going to add a listener. This listener listens to the on-click event from the button. And once we press the on-click event of the button, it's going to search for the mute sync component, which is on our avatar, and call the toggle voice chat method. Now, first things first, let's add a button with which we can toggle our mute. We go here next to our keyboard. We're just gonna add a new canvas. Let's call it mute. Let's add a button. Let's go to UI and then Text Mesh Pro button. Let's scale that down a little bit as well. Just 
drag the button onto this field. Now we have to set up our avatar. Let's click here on local avatar prefab and open it. Just like the last time, instead of name, we're going to add a new game object that we're going to call mute. On mute, we're going to add a sprite renderer and a real-time view component. Now what you need is two sprites for an unmute and mute icon. We provided you two icons in the description below. Just drag it into your project and it's going to be saved under textures menu icons. Let's import them and then here let's search for unmute. Now let's go onto our parent and add our mute sync component. Here we add the real-time avatar voice, which is on our head already, and then the renderer we just created. Lastly, in the list we add the two icons that we want to toggle in between. First one is going to be the mute, because we change from unmute to mute, and then back again. Okay guys, let's go back to Unity and test our whole setup. So as you can see, when I talk, my mouth moves, and if I mute myself, I keep talking and my mouth stops moving, which means I'm mute. Now I can talk again, and it moves. Perfect. Awesome guys, and that's it for this video. In this video, we learned how to mute and unmute ourselves. We hope you guys learned a lot in this series, and we can't wait to see what you build with this new knowledge. Let us know down in the comments what other Normcore features you would like to see from us. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel or leaving us a like. You can find the source code for all the videos on our Patreon. For questions, feel free to join our Discord and we are happy to answer you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.